I mean, overall, Curse of the Pharaohs, I think, was great. And I think, I think over the course of, I mean, not necessarily Origins, but I think both the DLCs have done, uh, a lot of the time, they do try, whether they're trying, whether it's an accident, uh, it does lead me to believe there's going to be a sequel for Bayek. Like, the amount of sure. times I've been like, ah, is that, like, pointing towards it? Like, I've never felt that before in an Assassin's Creed game. Uh, where they do that, and, like, there's so much investment going into Bayek. Like, this is the first time in a while, I think. Uh, maybe not, but they always tend to do these weird things with their DLCs, um, uh, which yeah. aren't continuations, necessarily. They did it with Dead Kings, kind of with Syndicate, um, like, with bloody AC4, they just made us play as Adewale for some reason. But, like, yeah. this is, like, the Hidden Ones and Curse of the Pharaohs <laughs> are real continuations of Bayek's story. It's not just another story that Bayek did at some point. It's like, this this is a continuation. And... Like, even in the side... Have you played the side missions? Like, all the side missions yet? No, I haven't done all of them, though. Oh, dude, the side missions in the... Because there's a, a one side mission in each of the Afterlife worlds, and they all mm. connect. Okay, I've done, the, I've done the first is, one in the Aru There whatever. is some... There is some major major story points that happen in for Bayek in that okay. in those side missions in terms of like the and it is in terms of like all the gods it's in terms of letting things go because it has to do with like the origin it links back to the origin story mm -hmm. the main storyline like it's really good like at, at moments like some, some of the missions are like they're not the best missions to play necessarily but like mm -hmm. in terms of story they do a lot for Bayek I, I think sure. which I thought was really I'll cool that, yeah. and it, it tied up a lot mm -hmm. of loose ends for Bayek as a character mm -hmm. and just kind of set him up as a, a you know and to, I said it tied up Bayek of Siwa yeah, yeah not Bayek the hidden one if mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah that makes you sense you know so it's kind of tying up that what's left over of the man before, um, you know, the mm -hmm. the life of an assassin, so, which I thought was interesting. And then, you know, you have the, mm -hmm. the infamous uh, Cobra Lair yes. that everyone's talking oh. about, that, you know, which I thought, oh, you know, um, well, yeah, it's hardly a cave. It's a, it's just a, a, it's a like a pond. It's a, it's a pond, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, which I, I went there kind of hearing about it. Um, and it's funny because I'd been there already, but, like, I didn't go there after you finished the DLC. Okay. Um, because, you know, I'm afraid. You know, this is, again, this is probably in interesting you say, said before, with that we probably play the DLCs differently, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of what we're looking for. And as well, that's how I play games like Assassin's Creed. It's kind of a bit fucked up. It's like I'm, like, trying to get everything done. It's like a job. Yeah. Like, well, I have to get all the location, I have to get all the achievements, I have to do this as quick as I possibly can. I hate it taking too long. So okay. when it's like, can we just can we hurry up and end the story? This has been great and everything, but I've got the enjoyment I need. Like, by continually continuing to not find this person isn't actually prolonging my enjoyment. It's just kind of like, okay, let's get it done so I can do the achievements, I can do this and that and level up. Blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. So, like, because it only took me, I don't know how long it took me in terms of time, but within two days, second day it came out, I'd done every location, done every side yeah, mission, I'd got every achievement, had 100%. mental. Yeah. Not even close everything. to that in the main game, <laughs> let alone yeah. both DLCs. Yeah, that's mental. Yeah. So there's nothing, yeah. I'm like, well, cool, I've finished Origins now, like, because I assume that's the last DLC. Um, yeah. Might be wrong, but I assume, the, I assume that's the last DLC. And you think so. I've done everything. Like, there's nothing new, and I kind of had a moment. I'm like, I hope Bike gets sequel because if not, I'd finish with Bike now. Yeah, there are nothing left yeah, to do. That's true. Um, but but yeah, well, with the Cobra Cobra Lair, uh, with that little thing. Not to like spoil it for anyone, but like, what did you think? Did you think? Oh sequel? look, I, I, I don't know. Um, I feel about the same as I did before. Like, it's if if they're gonna do a sequel for a character in Assassin's Creed. Um, this is the most likely character they're going to do it with. Yeah, but I agree. But I'm still not convinced that I they will. I kind of am convinced. I'm 30% I'm, I'm they'll do a sequel. I'm 70% they won't. Really? That's kind of where I'm comfortably sitting right okay. now. I'm 100% want them to. I 100% hope they do. But I'm about 30%, which is a high percentage, I think, that they'll do a sequel. That's a very high percentage to me. Because yeah. it's not, it's so unlikely they will. It's just so unlikely they will, based on what they've been doing. 
um, with all of their franchises. It's just how they work. Mm-hmm. Um, so 30% to me is a high percentage to say for me. I, I'm, it's the most confident I've been in a very, very long time. Yeah, I, well, I mean, after I went to the Cobra Cave, I mean, already before I'd been there, I yeah. thought the ending sort of, to me, was like, ah, is that going to lead into some sort of sequel with, like, the choice that Bayek makes at, at the end? But but, what, but you're assuming, this is a problem, though, like, with this, is, like, you're assuming, like, there's going to be an ending to Bayek, there has to be some sort of ending to Bayek, which I agree with, like, I felt the same way with Ezio, I'm like, there needs to be an ending to Ezio. Um, but mm. there hasn't been an ending to any of the other characters for but they, fucking years. But they, they at none least of them tell endings. them, like, at least they tell stories with these characters in side media. And a character like Bayek that's loved so much, you would have thought they'd do a comic to capitalize on the amount of people love him if they were going to throw him away. But they haven't. They've just left it. Which is really they didn't strange. Do Jacob and Evie comics. They didn't do Arno comics. Well, like, yeah, what the fuck no, happened to them? I mean, they've, I mean they've, they've done stuff with Arno and Edward and stuff in comics and, like, Connor... But, I mean, Jacob and Evie, I mean, they're sort of throwaway, aren't they, to be honest? Like, who fucking cares? Like, well, they, I mean, they, they I wouldn't mean, even make any them money are, off that. Anyway, I'm not trying to, yeah, I'm not trying to compare Bayek to, like, these characters. Obviously, Bayek's far better than all of them. But, like, with, but my main point is that with a character like Bayek that they know everyone loves, you'd think, right, let's do a comic or let's do a, a novel. Sure. And the novel, even the novel's a prequel rather than, like, doing anything else. Well, they still could do that as well. They, they could turn around and do that. They could do, but they haven't. Like, they, they, did, they did the comics with Aya. And it's like, to yes. me, to me, it's just like, with any other character, even the shit ones, like Arno and, like, Connor, they do comics of, whereas with Bayek, they just haven't. And it's like, maybe they'll do a comic yeah. at a later date, maybe, but, like, to me, it's like, they're leaving it very open for, you know, an Assassin's Creed character when they normally would just be like, oh, let's make a bunch of side media on this guy and move on. And I don't know, I, I, there's, another, there's a bunch of other reasons, like recycling. Like, even if they do, don't do a bike sequel, we're not getting Japan, because they can't recycle any assets, unless they're doing another, de- like, a huge yeah, delay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, if I was a betting man, um, you know, I, I, I've said this before, like, especially the whole Egypt thing, it's all about timing with the, the, the releases and doing settings, and I thought mm-hmm. Egypt, this is the perfect time to do something like this, to go back this far, to do an Egypt, to do an ancient Rome and Greece and things like that. I've mm. been against this whole Japan, feudal Japan shit for a long time. And it's not that I don't want to see it. One day I do want to see it, but it's all about timing. I just don't think that's the right time and that yeah, Assassin's Creed's not. in the right position to be able to do that sort of setting. I think after they're done with this, the next thing we will definitely... I would bet a lot of money on the fact that once we're done with this era, the next era is and ha- almost yeah. has to be Japan or Asia in some on, in some way, shape, or form. I'd... I'd be willing to bet so much that that's the next big yeah, thing. Yeah, I reckon. But so. we're gonna get two more games before then, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think well. there's gonna be two games between Feudal Japan, but I'm so sure Feudal Japan's coming. Yeah. Or um... Japan or Asia in some ways coming. That's gonna be the next area. Mm. But I, I think, I think if Bike doesn't get a sequel, I still am a hundred percent sure that it'll be in the um, Middle Eastern Europe, Northern Africa region, and they'll reuse assets. A hundred percent sure yeah. of that. Yeah, I agree. And as well, another reason I think that Bayek would make even more sense is they're going to want to reuse Senu as well. They're going to be like, well, we're going to obviously reuse sure. this and, like, everything from the game. It's just, to me, I feel like the only reason they've been jumping around with characters is because the the characters they've got aren't... They're not Ezio. They're not universally loved. It's like they're liked or whatever, but they're like, this is not worth keeping. So let's yeah, just Yeah, but how do they know that really until... until... How I do feel... they know that until the game comes out? Because, I mean, you look at well, Edward, he could have gotten a sequel and they didn't do it. Well, he's I, I like think universally because loved. they they had the, the yearly release cycle, but I think now, give them more breathing room, they can develop the game, and then at the last minute, they can interject the characters and the narrative and stuff. Like, because remember, um, Origins sure. okay. didn't have Bayek as the, like, guy until, like, later on. Like, it, I mean, I'm assuming the leaks we got, like, before... 2016 were were empire or origins um we had that bloody bloke that was in the black flag shit that like that gameplay of that dude that was like all just like must have been a placeholder or something and it's like with um uh, like uh ac3 and shit as well like they just used Ezio as a placeholder while they were developing the the game and shit and then put it in later so they could easily just you know do that you know whenever because I feel True. that the, this True. game that's that's going to be after Origins was being developed, 
you know prior to or the same time as origins like a year after Origins started development this game probably started development as well but there was no story or characters or anything in there it's just let's take what they're doing with origins let's further the development so it's just a progressed origins and now they're like okay now let's put in all that stuff with the writing and the story and things like that because i feel those are the things obviously with with video games and stuff that sort of end up being in at the end unless they've got that uh from the beginning but mostly with ubisoft because it's sort of they make games like a bloody factory it's like they produce like a like a template and then they're like okay now let's shape it into whatever it was so i feel they could easily uh, do that especially since they've got the whole of this year and the whole of next year before the game comes out assuming it comes out you know next year it's not i mean it's not going to be this year is it